I think in the investment will continue to but, uh, be you know, but, uh, lured you know, to, the, to, to Lake Street. But I think you know, it has to be in a more intelligent and a more planned way. I don't think you know, but, uh, we could think in another boom like in the 70s, 80s. I think if we have to sustain the growth and also about the economy as a whole has to improve. We cannot expect, you know, but they to try, you know, to squeeze more out of our Lake Street if the, if you know the, you know, the economy uh, as, as a whole improves. The opportunity is still there, but the, those that they are, are, you know, but the uh, visionaries, those that they have the right advice, those that they have, you know, that the business acumen, and they know uh, to be able to read between the lines, to read the trends, are the ones that are going to survive. We've got two very distinct situations. Uh, one is we've got a lot of, a whole lot of kids now who were born in this country and they're, they're going through the system and they're being educated. We've got adults now and young adults and teenagers who were brought to this country as either infants or young children or perhaps even teenagers. Um, some of them are having a hard time. Some of them are getting into gangs. Uh, some of them don't see any hope. But there's those with hope, both those who have been, who were born here and those who were not born here. And so, a lot of it also is going to depend on what, what our country is going to do politically. Are we going to say, yes, we're going to, we're going to provide a way for you to be a citizen, to work toward that? Uh, but let's say that doesn't happen. That spirit is going to continue. Now, the entrepreneurial spirit, a lot of people like to go into that area of business, of, of making something or serving something. But, but hopefully our children are going to have even a wider area, options of education. So they'll go into other areas. Hopefully there'll be Teachers, hopefully they'll be uh, they'll they'll choose uh, other professions as well to round out the whole community. They don't have to only depend on an entrepreneurial spirit. You know, it's a work in progress. I'm not going to tell you that we're done because by no means we're not done. Um, we still have to write the final chapter of. Um, you know, like the ancient proverb says that, teach him how to fish. And now that uh, folks know how to fish, now they want to know how, to, how can they buy the pond. So in a way, um, that will be the final chapter of this project of the Mercado Central, who has been catalyst to the corridor, and uh, we're still yet to see the rewards and, and the transformation and changes that are happening in front of our eyes, particularly in the Chicago Lake area, which uh, the Midtown Global Market is becoming also another important uh, jewel of, um, of the corridor and also another, um, another benchmark for the Lake Street, which the Lake Street like in the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, now we're in the 21st century, we're still writing the uh, next chapters of the Lake Street yet to come. Um, what I foresee happening is that the, um, this corporation called Mercado Central, which has the structure of a co-op, uh, will have an opportunity to turn this around as a 
membership. And then they, cre they can create a membership um, business development, if you wish, to continue having members like co-ops do. They have memberships. And that will also, um, in a sense, will be uh, in, the long, in the long term, also an opportunity for um, this economic development to begin their own, if they wish to do this, um, loan program. So everywhere I go, there's, there are people that, you know, point to the Macau Central and the economic changes on Lake Street as something that has, is going to have a lasting, sustained impact on our, on our culture. Um, and then I think, you know, knowing that we did this in Minneapolis is, is a model for other communities. So yesterday I was in Wilmer, and uh, there's a strong economic uh, uh, immigrant-led base in Wilmer, both with the Somali community and uh, the Latino community down there in Wilmer. Um, the younger generation may follow, you know, their the, the parent footsteps. They may or may not, but the important thing is the Lake Street, you know, but the, uh, the effect of Lake Street, it goes beyond, you know, but the, the limitations of Lake Street. And that, to me, will be a way to continue sustaining this project as a model as a model that could be also shared with other communities, not just Latino communities, but communities in general.